ओम ज्ञान तमृंधस्य ज्ञानांजन शलाकया चक्षुरुन्मल ये नस्म श्रीगुरव नम वंदेह श्रीगुर श्रीयुतपदकमल श्रीगुरून वैष्णवांश श्रीरूप सग्रजात सह गणरघुनाथन्वित सजीव साध्वत सवधूत परिजन सहित श्रीकृष्ण चैतन्यदेव श्रीराधाकृष्णपादान सह गणलिता श्री विशाखान्विता हे कृष्णा करुणा सिंध दीनबंध जगत्पते गोपेश गोपिका कांत राधा कांत नमस्त तप्त कांचन गौरांगी राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी वृषभानुसुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय नमो महाबदान्याय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदायिने कृष्णाय कृष्ण चैतन्य नाम गौरत्षे नम पंचतत्मक भक्तस्वक भक्तावता भक्ताख्यम नमा भक्तशक्ति श्रीकृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्रीअद्वैतागदाधर श्रीवास गौरभक्तवृंदा हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे जन्माद्य से अतवन्वयादित्रत चार्थ सुभिज्ञस्वराट तेने ब्रह्म हृदय अदिकवये महयूरय तेजो वारी मृदा यथा विनिमय यृसर्गो मृषा धामना स्वेन सदा निरस्तुहक सत्यम परम धीमहि नारायण नमस्कृत नरच नरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जय मुदीर स्वस्तिस्त विश्व खल प्रसीदता ध्यां भूता शिव मिथोधिया मन भद्रम भजता दधोक्षज आवश्यता नो मतिरप्य हेतुकी रीडिंग फ्रॉम श्रीमद भागवतम कैंटो टेन चैप्टर फोर्टी सिक्स वर्स नंबर थर्टी सो इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वी रेड दैट देर वॉज टॉक बिटवीन उद्धवा एंड श्री नंद महाराज नंद महाराज वॉज क्वेश्चनिंग हिम अबाउट कृष्णा एंड देन ही वॉज रिमेंबरिंग कृष्णाज एक्टिविटीज एंड then he became very emotional and so mother yashoda was present there but she did not speak so dhava could could feel the intensity of love 
which Nand Maharaj and Yasoda had for Sri Krishna. And thus he considered himself as very fortunate to have this opportunity to meet them and witness their intense love. Because if he had come when Krishna was present, probably he would not have this experience. We will think that, okay, they are parents, so they love their son like any other parents. But now when there is separation, so he could feel that intensity and thus he was feeling fortunate or happy. And now he has the job for which he came, that is to give consolation to them, which is not easy because when someone has very intense attachment, even materially, then to console that person is not easy if you lose the object of love. Even if somebody is attached to money, what to speak of living being, somebody is attached to money and loses the money, it's very difficult to console that person. So what to speak, where the object of attachment is Krishna himself, and they are his eternal parents, so they have natural preeti. So how he is going to console them? So let's see. So Sri Uddhava Vacha, Sri Uddhava said, Yivam Slagyata Maununam Dehinam Yamanada Narayane Akhilguro Yatkrita Matiridrishi. So he said that indeed both of you are Slagyatama, you are most praiseworthy. There is nobody who is more praiseworthy than both of you. And the reason for this is that you have this love, this kind of love in Narayana, who is the guru of the whole world. Narayana Akhil Guru Yatkrita Matiri Drishi. So he is addressing Nanda Maharaj as Manada, who gives respect to others. So he says, among the embodied beings, you two are most fortunate, most praiseworthy. There is no one who is equal to you. Why? Because you have the wealth of Preeti. So this is the highest thing which can be attained. There are various things one can attain in one's life. But the supreme object of attainment is not even Krishna, but Krishna Preeti. So therefore it says, Yatkrita Matir Idrishi. That this type of mind, which means mind which is absolutely fixed on Sri Krishna. So this is unparalleled. And this Krishna is not just your son, but he is Narayana, he is Akhil Guru. So he is not just another child. Because if it was another child, you could say that what is there, you know, you should put your mind on Krishna. Instead of being attached to your family members, your son, right? People try to say like this, you had so many sons in the past lives, these relations are temporary, but he cannot say this in case of Krishna. His son himself is Narayana. So you cannot say that you can have another son, no problem. So therefore he speaks like this. So iha jagati shlagyeshu bhakteshu api devaki vasudevau shlagyataru. So he is because he is 
Uddhava is used the word Shlagya Tama, which is superlative. So which means he has to now make three levels. If they are the best, who are better and who are good. So he says that the devotees are Shlagya. They are praiseworthy. And Vasudeva and Devaki, they are more praiseworthy than other devotees. So he is not, although he used the word Dehinam, but Dehinam here means Vaishnavas, because what is the worthiness of materialistic people? They are not considered here. So therefore, he has Jagati, Shlagyesu, Bhakteshu Api, so even among devotees, Devki and Vasudeva are Slagyatara. They are more praiseworthy than anyone else. Tabhyam utkarshat yuvam slagyatam. But you are superior to them, therefore you are slagyatam. Why? Narayane akhil guraviti. Because you have such love for Narayana who is akhil guru. Not just Jagat Guru, but Akhila Guru, beyond everyone. Here and beyond. And he is saying this because Nanda Maharaj himself has said, Manne Ramam Cha Krishnam Cha Prapta Uhe Surottamo. Because he himself was saying that I think they are the best of the devas. So therefore he says, Tad Vakyanei Vatasya. Krishna Ashwarya Spurtin Gyatva Tad Ashwarya Neva Tau Santaitum Tadev Vyachaste Smeti Bhava. So, why is Uddhava using these words Narayana Akhil Guru? So, he, he said that, or the commentator says that because Nanda Maharaj himself has used some words of Ashwarya, so he thought it is a good that I also use it to console him. So that's the reason that now he has got the spurti or mood of Aishwarya. So I will use that. That he is Narayan, he is Akhil Guru, we are fortunate. And being Narayan is everywhere, so no problem. Etauhi Vishwasya Chabi Jayoni Ramo Mukunda Purusha Shapradhanam Anviya Bhuteshu Vilakshanasya Gyana Shache Shate Mo Purano. So, in the previous verse, he spoke only about Krishna. Here he speaks about both Krishna and Balram. So, he says, Etauhi Vishwasya Cha Bijayan. That they are also not only the teacher of the world, but they are the source of this material universe. Bija yoni. Bija means seed, yoni means source. So cause. And Rama, Mukundaha, Purusha, Pradhana. So who are they? Rama, Balram and Mukunda. So they both are Purusha as well as Pradhana. Because everything is a combination of Kshetra Kshetra Gya Yavat Sanjayate Kinchit Sattvam Sthavar Jangavam Kshetra Kshetra Gya Sanyoga Tadvidhi Vartar Shabha So everything you see here in the material world is a combination of Prakriti and Purusha and they are the original source of this Anviya Bhutayashu Vilakshanasya Jnanasya Chai Shata Umaprana. And then, not only that they are the source, but they also enter into it. They also come and go into everything, Anviya. So, Anviya and Vyatirek Bhutayashu Vilakshanasya Jnanasya Chai Shata. And they are the controller of the jiva and the prakriti. So that is their situation. 
So Ishate means that they control, controller. So Naranatvam Akhila Gurutvam Aha. So in this verse he is explaining how they are Narayana because Narayana means who is the source of Nara. So Narajyatan Jatani Bhutani. So Naranam Samuha Nara. So all the material elements, Nara also means living beings. So he is the abode, therefore he is called Narayana or he is the one who enters into everybody. So therefore Narayana. So that's what he describes here. Amsha Amshinor Abhinnatvad Bahu Murti Ek Murtikam Iti Abrahma Gyanascha. So considering the oneness between part and the whole, he speaks like this that he is one but he takes many forms. Means all this Prakriti and Purusha is also his manifestation. So has come from him. The universe is also him only. Etau dvau api eka eva narayani tirtha So this, this two means Prakriti and Purusha is only him or Krishna and Balram also one. Vishwasya Bijayani Dvavapi Nimitta Upadhan Rupa and they are the cause and source of the universe. So Bij and Yoni two words actually one is enough but two are used because there are whenever you produce something there is a Nimitta cause there and then there is a upadan karan, material cause and the efficient cause. So they are both. So that's why the word bija and yoni has been used. Bija signifies upadan, yoni signifies nimitta. So though open nimitta upadan rupa. So they are both, both causes. Otherwise, in the material world, you want to produce something, then you have to depend on raw material from somewhere. You are only efficient cause. So, he is independent. Dauveva purushaha pradhanam and both are purusha and pradhana. Shakti shakti matar akyat because there is no distinction between energy and energetic. So Purusha is energetic and Pradhan is material energy. So material energy also belongs to him and he is Purusha. Iti Bhava, as it is said in 11th canto, Prakritir Yasa Upadhanam Adharaha Purushaha Paraha Sato Bhivyanjakaha Kalo Brahma Stam Tritiyam Toham. So Krishna says that the Upadan material cause of the universe is Prakriti and its substratum is Purusha because matter does not work by itself. So it needs spiritual entity to support it. And then the transformation happens by time. Sato Abhivyanjakaha Kala. Time is that which brings transformation in matter, but you need Purusha in it. So Purusha is present, then matter transforms into various elements. And then he says that I am all three. So means Prakriti, Purusha and time. Everything is him. 
भूतेशो अन्वीय अंतर्यामितया प्रविश्य विलक्षण ज्ञान से ईशाते प्रदान समर्थी भक्तेभ्यो भगवत ज्ञान से ज्ञानीभ्यो ब्रह्म ज्ञान से च कृपया दातारो श्याता सो इस दट आई एंटर एज इमेनेंट बीइंग एज परमात्मा इनसाइड एवरीथिंग एंड देन आई कंट्रोल और उद्धव इज सेइंग अबाउट दिस टू दैट कृष्णा एंड बलराम दे कंट्रोल विलक्षण ज्ञान से मीन्स ज्ञान various types of gyan he is referring gyan has different meaning can also mean living being but here it refers to spiritual knowledge so he says i control that means it comes by his grace matta smritir gyanam apohanam ch so pradan pradan samartho they are capable of giving it bhaktebhyo bhagavad gyanasya gyanibhyo brahm gyanasya chakrapya dataro so to bhaktas they give knowledge of bhagwan to gyanis they give knowledge of brahman by their grace as he says कृष्ण से सततुक्ता भजता प्रेम पूर्वक ददा बुद्धिग यमुपियांति सैसे दोज हु आर वर्शिपिंग मी कंटिन्यूअसली विद लव आई गिव दम बुद्धिग बै विच दे रीच मी सो हियर इज गिविंग नॉलेज ऑफ भगवान् एंड मदीय महिमान च पर ब्रह्मेति शब्दित वेत्स्यनुगृहत मे संप्रश्नैर्वृत हृदी चेत दुक्त एंड दिस इज मत्स्य अवतार स्पीकिंग टू किंग्स सो ही इज टेलिंग दट यू विल ऑल्सो कम टू नो मै महिमा विच इज नोन एज पर ब्रह्म बै मै ग्रेस यू विल आस्क मै क्वेश्चन चकारात अविलक्षण ज्ञान से एंड द वर्ड चा इम्प्लाइज दैट नॉट ओनली द गिव स्पिरिचुअल नॉलेज दे आल्सो गिव द मटेरियल नॉलेज सो ज्ञान से चाता सो मटेरियल नॉलेज इज आल्सो कमिंग फ्रॉम देम प्राकृत से स्वर्गादि साधन से अभी कर्मभ्यो दातारो सो टू मेटेरियलिस्टिक पीपल हाउ टू गो टू स्वर्ग that also they give and if you don't want to go to swarga you want to remain here that also knowledge comes from them right matta smritir gyanam apohanam ch yasmin jana pran viyog kale kshanam samavesh mano vishuddham nirhitya karma ashay masu yati param gatim brahma mayor kavarna so he says that just by fixing your mind at the time of death then you become free from the bondage of karma so giving up karma ashaya mashu you attain supreme destination param gatim while getting a spiritual body brahma mayo arka varna which is effulgent like the sun so that is the outcome of meditating on krishna that shows that he is akhila guru he is spiritual he is not material so nirhritya dagdhwa the word nirhritya which means having given up means burning param gatim vaikunth loka so param gatim means the destination where bhagwan personally resides vakuntha brahmamaya chinmaya sharira brahmamaya means having a transcendental body and arkvarna surya tulya teja so it is 
effulgent like sun but it does not burn otherwise already 45 degrees enough what if it is like sun how hot it will be so that is just to show that it is not dependent on anything material for its illumination तस्मिन् भवन्तौ अखिलात्महेतौ नारायणे कारणं मर्त्यमूर्तौ भावं विधत्तां नितरां महात्मन् किं वा विशिष्टं यवयो सुकृत्यं इ सेज दैट बोथ ऑफ यू यू हैव योर वात्सल्य प्रीति योर भाव इन हिम नारायण who is Akhila Atma Hetu. So he is the cause of all, everybody's Atma. And he is Karana Murti Murti. He is appearing here in the material world, or he is appearing like material world for some cause, for reason. So he says, O oh great Nanda Maharaj, what is there which remains for you to achieve? What is there that you have to do? Sukrityam. You have already performed all Sukritis, all good deeds. You are already a perfected being. There is nothing that you have to achieve. Akhilanam Atma Cha Hetusha Tasmin. So he is the cause of all the Atmas. Therefore, he is called Akhil Atma Hetu. Or he says he is the Atma of everyone and he is the cause of everyone. Atma and Hetu all separately. And Karnam Cha Manusha Murtis Cha. And he is cause. And he has a human form. So he has a different reading. He says Karna Murtya Murti, but the commentator says Manushya Murti. Means his reading is Karna Manushya Murta. So in any case, if it is Murtya Murti, then you can say who is manifest here in the material world, his cause, and his manifest here. If it is Manushya Murti, he has a form like human being. So, Tasmin Yuvya Ostu Krityam Kim Avshishtam. So, there is nothing else which remains for you to execute. You have already executed everything. You are a perfected being. So, you don't have to worry. Tukarena Tasya Krishna Sya Eva Yusmat. Santvana, Trinana, Vasibhavanadi, Kritya, Mavsha, Shatayati, Gyayati. So he says that actually it is Krishna who has something to do for you, not that you have anything to do. He has some responsibility, he has some duties to perform. You don't have any duties to do. And what is his duty? Well, he should console you. He should please you, he should satisfy you, he should be under your control, he should be guided by you, you are the parent. So therefore, there is nothing remaining for you, but he has something. And Swakrityam iti Pathai Pisai Vartha. So here the reading is Sukrityam, but it's another reading, Swakrityam is meaning remains same. So he realizes now that saying all this is not making any difference to Nanda Maharaj. He is only pointing out Krishna the Aishwarya, but this is not helping. So then he changes. He says, Agamishyati Ati Dirghena Adirghena. 
काले न व्रजमच्युत प्रिय विधाष्यते पितरोर भगवान सात्वताम पति ही सो नाउ ही सेज व्हाट दे वांट टू हियर ऑल दिस अदर टॉक ही इज गुरु ही इज दे सेइंग दैट ही सेज ही कैन बी गुरु ऑफ एनीबडी ही इज आवर सन ही इज द कॉज ऑफ द यूनिवर्स लेट हिम बी कॉज ऑफ द यूनिवर्स फॉर अस ही इज आवर सन सो नथिंग वर्क्ड फॉर देम दे वर नॉट सरप्राइज्ड to hear all these words and think oh really then we should not worry no so therefore not seeing that it is making any effect his words are giving any consolation to them then he changes his style he says agamishyati adirghena that very soon he will be here and that's only thing which can give them solace vrajam achyuta here means here in vraja and he is achyuta achyuta means that he doesn't fail some people give exam they fail they say something then they fail so he is not like that he does what he says so there is oneness between his words and his actions so that's why he is called achyuta and failing and when he comes here what will he do here priyam vidhashyate pitror that he will please his parents he is not saying you his parents so that they know that we are the parents priyam vidhashyate pitror bhagwan satvatam pati he is bhagwan and he is the master of the satvatas so he is your son and there he is only their pati is is their protector pati also means pati ti pati bhavat sa uddhava tvam ati buddhiman shrutah kintu mugdha eva si so he says uddhava i heard that you are a very wise person but i see you are a fool so what is this you are talking he is akhil guru he is atma he is bijyani he is this he is this he says that is your wisdom you have come here to tell us this we are asking how is our son and you are lecturing us that his paramatma he is the creator he is the teacher he is this he is that he says what is this nonsense you want to hear about our son and when is he going to come so he says you are a mugdha you have no wisdom speak this nonsense yada avam api stausi and you are so full you are praising even us not only you are praising krishna you are also praising us he says we are suffering here and you are singing your panjaliks that you are this you are fortunate you are slaghatam you are this what slaghatam we don't have our son with us what is our praise worthiness look at your shoda she is not even able to eat anything and crying all the time so hanta hanta tadrisho gunanava putro yad grahyad anyatra gata stato adhiko mand bhagyo adhmu dukhi trubhone madhye ko asti 
iti avam sarvai nindaniye eva. He says, you are saying that we are supreme praiseworthy. But actually we are supreme unpraiseworthy. Why? That we have a son like Krishna and he has left us. He is a gunarnava, he is the ocean of good qualities. And he is not in our house. So who is more unfortunate than us? And you are saying we are fortunate. He says, can you not see our misfortune? So yad grihad anyatra gata astata adhiko manda bhagyo adhu. Who is more fallen than us? Who is more miserable than us in the three worlds? Because who is going to have suffering like this? There is nobody. Because nobody has love like this, so no one is going to have a suffering like this. And the intensity of suffering goes along with the intensity of happiness. If you have more capacity to be happy, you also have more capacity to suffer. So we, you are saying that we are having such love for him, but because of that only we are most unfortunate that we have lost him. Tadukte maashankya saswasam aha agamishyati So thinking all this in his mind, that maybe they are considering or this thought is running inside their head, then Uddhava speaks this verse that Agamishyati, that he will come. Achyutaha drashtu me shyamayati satya vakyat chuti rahita. And therefore he calls him as Achyuta because he has said that I will come to see you. Because Nanda Maharaj, when he was leaving, then he told him, Drashtu Meshyama Suvida, that will come to see. So therefore he is going to be true to, to his words. Satvatam Yadunam Pati Palakayeva. And he is calling them as Satvatam Pati, means he is only their protector. So what does it mean he is their protector? He says, Kevala matraeva sthitva bhavishyati yuvastu priyam manu bhishtam karishyati. So he can give protection while being here. He doesn't have to be there. But for you, says, priyam vidhashyati pitro. So with you, he, he will have loving exchange. He will do pleasing acts to you. So, but for them he is only their protector, so that he can protect being here. So don't worry, he will come and then he will not go. Because if he goes, then how will he do your priya, your pleasing act? So that is the significance. Atva kamsam ranga madhye pratipam sarvasatvatam yadahava samagatya krishna satyam karoti tat. So now he is saying it very clearly. He says that Krishna, after killing Kamsa in that stadium, who was enemy of all the satvatas, he told you that. He will come. So he will definitely keep his word. Satyam karoti tat. Krishna satyam karoti tat. What he has told you, he will certainly do that. And what he said was that he will come. So this is what he says. Yadaha yata yuyam brajam tata iti slokena tat satyam karoti karishyati. So he, he told him that you go to braja my father, and I will come. This is what he said. 
सो करो थी करिष्यति वर्तमान समय पे लट इस ही इस यूजिंग प्रेजेंट टेंस और एक्चुअली ही शुड यूज फ्यूचर सो इस दिस सिग्निफाइज दैट ही विल कम सून कर देर इस रूल इन संस्कृत वर्तमान समय पे वर्तमान वधवा दैट इफ देर इस एन एक्ट व्हिच अबाउट टू हैपन इन फ्यूचर and instead of using future tense you can use present tense instead of saying i will go you say i am going or i go so i go does not mean that you are just going but mean to say i am going soon so then you don't say i will go although you are going in future so that is the significance that he will keep his word or he keeps his word satyam karoti satyam karoti also means that this is habit he is always truthful something with somebody which, which happens all the time then you use present tense for that also it's like you say that ganga himalayat prabhavati और प्रवाहती सो गंगा कम्स फ्रॉम हिमालय सो कम्स डज नॉट मीन दैट इट जस्ट कमिंग नाउ एंड इट विल नॉट कम इन फ्यूचर मीन दिस रेगुलरली कमिंग सो सत्यम करोती ऑल्सो सिग्निफाइज दैट वस्तुतस्तु उद्धव अदृष्ट तत्रभ्याम तदव लालित स प्रकाशांतरेण वर्तते उद्धव मुखा सत्याव वग्देवी निरगात दैन ही गिव्स अनदर एक्सप्लेनेशन वाई ही इज सेइंग प्रेजेंट टेंस ही सेज इन रियलिटी एट दैट टाइम उद्धव सॉ दैट कृष्ण वॉज देर ही गॉट ए ग्लिम्स ऑफ अप्रकट प्रकाश सो दैन ही इज सेइंग इज देर and he is being tabhyam taiva lalita and he is being treated affectionately by nanda neshoda he saw this instead of seeing nanda maharaj and yashoda in separation he saw them in union just as he has seen vraja in union not in separation when he entered so now he saw that and therefore he speaks like this he says that is why such words came out of his mouth ma khidyatam mahabhagau drakshatah krishna mantike antarhidi sab bhutanam aste jyotirai ज्योतिर्वैधषी सई सैड दैट डोंट बी मोरोस ओ ग्रेटली फॉर्चुनेट वंस नाउ ही इज रेफरिंग टू बोथ यशोदा एंड नंद महाराज ही सेज इन वेरी नियर फ्यूचर यू विल सी कृष्णा हियर विद यू अंतर्हृदय से भूता नाम आस्ते ही इज सिचुएटेड इन साइड द हार्ट ऑफ ऑल लिविंग बींग्स just like there is fire in the wood jyoti riva and so so he has little prelude to the verse why is uddhava speaks like this now is said as if nand maharaj is saying hanta hanta dhik avam say jalas alas fionas we are unfortunate yayor abhagyasya prabalyam ev because our misfortune has no bounds it is unlimited we are unlimitedly unfortunate satyavatso api putrasya atra agamne 
प्रतिबंध की भवती थी Why? He says we know that our son is very truthful. Then why he is not coming? All that he said he will come. He says it is not that he is not truthful, but our misfortune is stopping him to come. So we are so misfortunate that even a truthful person like Krishna, Satya Vratam Satya. प्रियम सो सत्य से सोन योनी सो ही इज सत्य सत्य व्रतम इज द सोर्स ऑफ सत्य सत्य से सत्यम इज द ट्रूथ ऑफ द ट्रूथ सो दैट पर्सन इज नॉट कीपिंग हिज वर्ड वाई बिकॉज ऑफ आर मिसफॉर्चून इज नथिंग रॉन्ग विद हिम सो खिद्यन तौ तौ प्रति आह माई थी सो वेन दे वर ग्रीविंग लाइक दिस देन उद्धव स्पीक्स दिस पर माँ खिद देते प्लीज डू नॉट ग्रीव सो नंद महाराज इज सेज डोंट ग्रीव द नंद महाराज सेज ननु अंत के यद्रक्षा द्रक्ष द्रक्षावस तस् कस्मिन दिने स्वाह परश्व वा पंचमें दिने दसमें दिने वा सो ही सेज यू आर सेंग दैट यू वी विल सी हिम नेक्स्ट टू अस सो वेन विल वी सी हिम विल वी सी हिम टुमारो डे आफ्टर टुमारो इन फाइव डेज टेन डेज गिव अस सम नंबर अदरवाइज दिस हैज नो मीनिंग दैट यू विल सी हिम सून सून मीन्स वॉट वन आवर टू आवर वन डे टू डे वन मंथ फॉर ब्रह्म वन मंथ इज टू सून आवर वन मंथ इज टू सून फॉर एम सो वट डज इट मीन संप्रति निर्जगमिशून प्राणान के नाश्वासन स्थापिष्यावस तावत So he says that our life here is about to leave our bodies. So you have to tell so that we can inform the life here that stay for five days. <laughs> don't be in such a hurry. But if you don't give us any figure, what what shall we tell them? They are going to leave us and we will die. So therefore, please tell. Na che daga mishyati tadeva nishchitya brohi. And if you think he is not coming, then also say that. Don't just give us false hopes. Be clear. If he is coming, tell us when. If he is not coming, tell us that also. Then we'll do what is appropriate. Niryantu prana, mastu tan nirodhan kastam avi oriti uktvati srinande. So if he is not coming. Then let the life heirs leave. Why we shall hold them unnecessarily? We are trying so hard to hold our life heir. But if you tell when he that he is not coming, then we'll really we'll we'll go. Why unnecessarily go on troubling like this? So tanirodhana kastam aviyor. So then we will not have any trouble in upholding the life heir. So when Nand Maharaj said like this, Uddhava Swahridi Paramarsha. So when Nand Maharaj said like this, then Uddhava was in big fix. Now he is in trouble. He says, "What? What shall I say now?" He is asking. When is he coming? Is he coming or not coming? Tell us clearly. So don't just give us false hopes. So hantatra kam upayam anutishtham. He says, what, what technique, what means, what process I should use to console him? Prakrit putra yoga atura khalu evam prabodhyante. 
भो भो किमिति सांसारिक मोहे मग्ना भव था मिथ्या भूत पुत्र कलत्र आदि शु आसक्ति अनर्थ है तुम परित्यज्य भगवती आसक्ति क्रियता इस एज इफ देर आर मेटेरियल पेरेंट्स एंड दे आर सफरिंग फ्रॉम सेपरेशन फ्रॉम देयर सन देन वी कैन स्पीक लाइक दिस एज फॉलो इस एज कम ऑन ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट दिस लाइफ इज टेम्प्ररी Everybody has to die. This is the material world. So don't be materially attached like this. Everybody who takes birth has to die. This is all your moha, your illusion that he is your son. Nobody is nobody's son. Nobody is nobody's father. Mithya, Bhuta, Putra, Kalatra, all these relations, wife, children, po- son father brother sister these are all false today they are there tomorrow they are not there just remove your mind from all these things and fix your mind on bhagwan so he says we can console like this but i cannot say this to them which bhagwan he is bhagwan only if they if they were material people and they had material son then we could speak like this right that these are all relations they are troublesome every relationship gives problem suffering in any way they are temporary so don't worry think of their eternal relationship that is our eternal relationship is only with bhagwan so uh, you could console so but i cannot do this so yasya tu bhagavati eva putri bhute asakti sanando ayam katham prabodhaitavya but one who has son as bhagwan whose son is bhagwan how can i enlighten that person what technique i have to use न च वसुदेव से पुत्र भाव ऐश्वर्य प्रदर्शन स्थल तुम शक्य एंड ही इज नॉट ऑल्सो वसुदेव दैट यू टेल हिम ओ दिस दिस इज नॉट योर सन इज भगवान इज गॉड एंड देन ही टेक्स अ स्टेप बैक एंड हिज अफेक्शन डिक्रीज हिज ही सज हियर यू टेल दैम दिस इट इवन गोज अप बिकम इज मोर इन टेन्स प्रत्युत सगाढ़ते इफ आई स्पीक ऑफ कृष्णा जैश्वर्य देन दे आर लव इंस्टेड ऑफ डिमिनिशिंग एज इट हैपन्स इन केस ऑफ वसुदेव एंड देव की इट इनक्रीजेज देन दस वाह वी हैव सन लाइक दिस एंड वी इज नॉट हियर हाउ अनफॉर्चुनेट वी आर द थिंक लाइक दिस सो द प्रीति ऑफ नंद महाराज is different than preeti of vasudev so Vas- vasudev's love becomes subdued by aishwarya mood by the knowledge of krishna being god but in case of nand maharaj his love does not become overpowered by knowing that krishna is bhagwan rather his love increases more then he wants to see why that such a wonderful son and i'm sitting here without him how unfortunate hanta prakrit prakrit putram api grihe khelanta madrishtva tat pitrau dukhena mriyate avyostu ati bhagyavashat parmeshwaro api putri bhuto grihe khelati sma आवयक्षणमी लालनम प्राप्य खिद्यते स्म स्वगृह तो तम पुत्र मदृष्ट कथम जीविष्या सो नंद महाराज थिंग्स लाइक दिस हिज लॉजिक इज लाइक दिस दैट इन द मेटेरियल वर्ल्ड पीपल हू हैव ए मेटेरियल सन इफ दे डोंट सी देयर सन इन द हाउस और इफ देयर सन डाइज दे ऑल्सो डाई दिस इज वेन देयर सन इज मेटेरियल 
and we have our son Krishna who is Bhagwan and we are still alive. If material parents die out of grief when their son is material, how is that we are able to survive when our son is actually Bhagwan? So this is Kamutya Nyaya. A forty or argument he is giving. Avyastu Ati Bhagya Vashat Parmeshwaru Opi. In our case, out of great fortune, our son is Parmeshwara, Bhagwan. And he was playing here with us in our house as our son. And Avyahok Shanam Api Lalanam Prapya. And if we did not treat him with love and affection, he will become upset. He was so much dependent on our love and care and affection. And Swagrihe Tam Putra Madrishtva Katham Jeevisya. And now, not seeing such a son in our own house, how can we live? So that is our misfortune. Dhegavam. So he says that fee on us, we are so misfortunate. Yat tadrishopi putrad vyuktau ityevam vidhan vidha anayor mano nishtha. So Uddhava is thinking like this, that this is how they are thinking. Uddhava is understanding because Uddhava had idea of Vasudev. So he is thinking that if I talk to them that Krishna is Parmeshwara, he is Bijiyani, he is the source of them, their affection will diminish. But he was surprised that instead of that their thing is thinking, oh we have uh, such a son and we don't have him with us. So now he is saying, so what shall I do now? Because his experience was different. He did not have such an experience, the intensity of love which Nanda and Yashoda have, he did not experience that before. So therefore he is confused. So that's why he says, Dhigavam yat tadrisho vi putrad vyuktav iti evam vidha an your mano nishtha. So this is the mindset of Nandani Yashoda and Devaki Vasudevau tu etat parameshwari anubhave sati hant avyor ayam aradhya evanatu putra iti etat parishvanga lalnadau api shankete. He says in case of Vasudeva and Devaki when they got the knowledge that Krishna is Parameshwara then they said, oh, then he is our worshipable. Then they did not even embrace him. They wanted to pray to him. So this was the experience which Uddhava had. And he wanted to make use of it now. It did not work to his surprise. So he will now think of some other technique and they will read tomorrow. Any question? Okay. Krishna Sarana Baba. I have one uh, question about the Tikkan verse 35. Yes. I was a little confused um, whether the idea is that Uddhava saw or did not see um, the precaution which Krishna was being cared for by Nanda Maharaj and Yashoda at that time. Well, he says that he saw it for a short time.
says tatsam tats yatam yuyam brajam tata iti shlokena tat satyam karoti karishyati vartman samipye lat vastu tattu uddhavena adrishtas tatreva tabhyam tada eva lalita sa prakashen means they did not see it or at least that's how I understand you can say adrishta uddhavena adrishta tatreva tabhyam tada eva lalita sa prakasham trena vartate eva okay he did not see it but this is commentator saying I think I made a mistake I read it drishta I read adrishta as drishta no he did not see it is commentator who is saying that he did not see that he was actually there and therefore this statement came out from his mouth by the will of Saraswati or Vagdevi. What is the word he is using? Okay, Vagdevi, Satyaya Vagdevi Niragata. So he says that the truth came out of his mouth although he did not see it. So commentator is saying that in Aprakat Prakas Krishna was also present there being treated affectionately by his parents and although he did not see it but still the words came out like that in present tense. This is explanation of the present tense he is giving. Is it clear? Yes, clear too. Okay. Param Karuna Ji. Babaji, again, very beautiful class, Babaji. Thank you so much. I was just uh, reflecting this portion. Uh, we can see the difference in the mood of Nanda Baba and Vasudev. There is the difference, like we read in Sri Bhutira Samrit Sindhu, that in the Prajwasis there is Aishwarya Gyan Shunyata, whereas in uh, others, there is Aishwarya Gyan Anta, and that is so clearly visible in this pastime that you just shared. Yeah, this is verses. yeah, this is what Sri Vishnu Chakrati Thakur said that this is the reason he sent Uddhava to bring out this distinction so that he can understand and then speak on it. <coughs> Thank you. Okay. So Harina Mamriti Vakaram. Samas Prakarnam. We are on Sutra 321. Prader Nasaha. 